sounds on, Dave behave. Both Daves. <laughs> yeah. Mike's on, but that's fine. That's all right. Oh, good. Well, I, mean, I just, almost. Well, if you just woke up from a nap, that'd I be I just confusing. woke up from a nap. I looked at my clock at 5 o'clock. I thought, my God, it's 5 in the morning, you know? Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't count. I was still in my clothes. I did. You know, it kind of went over my head. <laughs> but I, uh, I hear that very important phone call. I almost said, what the hell are you calling at this hour of the morning for? Yeah, right? Stop calling so early. You're like, what? I thought it was normal time. Oh, boy. That's funny. Anyways. Mm, okay. Okay, I'm up. All right, here we are. Wednesday. Happy really? Wednesday. Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Oh, Lord. It's funny. Well, the other thing that, that is, I look up and find out, you know. What day it is. Yeah. What day it is, because sometimes I'm not too sure about that either. Yeah. So I compare what the clock says to what number of pills I've taken. That's. It really is. It's very. The clock's one of the most useful Very difficult things. in the morning. Yeah. That's a useful clock, I uh, think. It's got a lot of use out oh, it. I have mail. Yeah. I have mail. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Megan, how come you got on to Gussie? Oh, I'll get on to Gussie anytime I can. That dog thinks that she can just be nasty <laughs> to all the people that walk in there to help Lainey. So Mara is one of them that she sees, and I think she can smell the fear from like 10 feet away with Mara. Mara stands over here and just like waits for someone to give her the okay, and she runs by. But so, um, no, yeah, Gussie just is very loud and she jams her face right up in there and it's just she steps on her puppies and it's just too small it's a small space for an angry mom and so whenever I get a chance I uh educate her, educate her. <laughs> I educate her there you go everybody should I led the dog out by myself once today Lainey Lainey yeah I got I got my eyeball fixed on her and I said don't you dare yeah I, funny, and I she was okay. I brought Lainey in and out of that room, and I remember people were like, oh, how did you, oh my God, how did you, and I, go, I just look and I go, that's why I get paid the big bucks around here. If she did do that, we'd oh, have a problem. I yeah. that hole I know, right? <laughs> I'd do a better job than Riot jumping yes. through there. Yeah, oh gosh, I know, that was a tiny hole that she squeezed through. I know. Okay, annual prize giveaway. I don't know what puppy that was that Dave's hold it that Dave was holding um, a black one. Not sure. <laughs> Mara, Lynn's mom. Yes, Mara. Yeah. Everybody from the UK, what have you been up to today? Oh, you're not talking to me. Um, I'm not in the UK. Everything in the US is going very well. I think. <laughs> is that where we are? <laughs> yeah. We're I need a sign on the wall. I know. I got to. Yeah, I got to email that guy. Hip switch. What? You throwing I, everything away? I didn't, I didn't need that, did I? What, I don't what? know. It was a magazine, I think. Yeah. No, you don't need that. Anybody, what, what, what fell out of it? That would be more important. It's like a life insurance. Mm-mm. Not going to have it. You don't want it? <laughs> no. I don't know who the puppy was that Dave was holding. I'm sorry. Um... And the reason I spoke to him is I have this rule. The puppies are supposed to be no more than eight inches off the floor. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, puppies aren't supposed to be picked up and carried around. Oh, yes, yes. yes. David probably could, but there are an awful lot of people that can. Yes. That was the Disney man. I know. She was... I was asleep. I thought it was five in the morning. She was all confused. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So they, they're trying to do Ingrid's hours, and evidently they had a major problem with their computer system. Yeah. So he just called me to tell me he's sending two emails. I all I have to do is hit approve and they'll be all set. I have to send him an email. And apologize for your Almost. Said, what the hell are you calling at this hour of the morning for? 
Because <laughs> well, I thought it was five in the morning. Yeah, she's sleeping oh. real well. Yeah, well, know. that's okay. He's in Burbank, so it's early for him. Well, that's, that's, that's what he says. <laughs> well, isn't, it, isn't it five o'clock on the East Coast? Yeah, well, a minute here now. Hold on, what day is it? Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Linda's here. Yeah, you came out, you were like, Is Linda here? I was like, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I slept over. <laughs> I almost said, What the hell are you calling? Oh, dear me. It's funny. Send him an email. Who is your star today? Uh, definitely Charlotte. How about my dog? Oh, sorry, Sizzle by far. I took Sizzle out to uh, Market Basket. She has a very nice pace compared to the boys. The boys are all like, go, 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 um, especially Brad. Brad's all over the board. Uh, Ned and Podrick have more focus, but Sizzle was definitely really good today in uh, Market Basket. Went and bought Carlene's dinner with oh, Sizzle, good. so I don't know what you're eating, but it's in the oven. I heard so. Mm-hmm. Why we should all eat bugs. Oh, eat once? Why we should all eat bugs. Oh, eat Six bugs. Six-legged lunch. Ew. Oh. Mm. Um, anybody want this? <laughs> no, I'm good. Well, you know, this is the woman who bought us our first washing machine or mm -hmm. something. Yeah, uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. She's editor of this. And it's all written by teenagers. I think we give her a... We'll give her a shout out or whatever. My mom has a present for you. I can oh. tell you what it is. <laughs> she told me she got you a book that's 101 simple science experiments. Oh, good. So she goes, she can do it for a nutty professor. <laughs> <laughs> the book was, if you bought a book, all the money went to like a, a charity. So she uh -huh. saw that one and she was like, I had to get it for Carlene. She's like, the money went to a good cause and she does science experiments sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, I, you know, I have a couple of those. People send me those and I have them. That's where I got the ice cream thing from. Yeah. That was a good ice cream that, thing. That was fun. Did it ever work? I never saw the finished Did you product. Taste it? No, I didn't know you even put it in the freezer. Yeah, yeah, oh, it is? There's something there. Yeah. That's funny. It, it's, it's public, too, right at the moment, too. I haven't been double dipping. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you can take a spoon and go out. All right. How are the snails doing in training? They're like I just um, covered that. They're doing really well. Um, they all have. A lot of exposure. They all get a lot of pats out in public. Not, none of them are fearful. The only issue with Brad is he has no focus. He's just, what's that? Oh, what's that? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty. That's shiny. So he's all over the place. Um, Podrick is the best out of the boys. Ned is the second. And Sizzle's the number one for the girls. <laughs> She's the only <laughs> girl in that. That's like being the valedictorian. Yeah, yeah. Out of a class of one. <laughs> uh, Meg, what is most fun for you to teach? Does it differ by age with the pups? Uh, yeah, it, I don't really have an age that this happens, but it's kind of like what Carlene says with that Helen Keller water moment in the movie. Like, it's just when you've been working with a dog to try and get them to understand something simple, it could be um, loading up in a car or a down stay or um, just healing nicely on a leash. The second that they, it actually clicks in their head and they, oh, this is what you want me to do. And then they do it and they're so proud of themselves and you're like, oh my gosh, like so that moment is definitely... Um, a good moment and then also to see them match up with people that's why we that's why we're here so <laughs> those that are awesome. moment i have not achieved with sizzle yet with reading up something in her mouth she just doesn't get it i see her pick things up but she's not doing it for a purpose for she's, yeah i on her own on her, her own she yeah. does she she does the, but i think the problem was i got so excited when she picked it up once that Scared her? No, uh, <laughs> well, that could be too. I've done that too. Yeah. But, uh, no, the first time I think what I did was, oh, good, aren't you good? Here's a treat. And actually, what I taught her to do was to drop, drop it. it instead of give it, like put a have her give yes. it to you. Yeah. Yes. So I think I've gotten myself in large trouble. So even if she does, you know, every once in a while she runs over and starts to pick it up, and she drops it immediately and turns around and looks for the treat. Yeah. I mean, the, the logic is there, but yeah. oh boy. It's, yeah. Just, you know, all of a sudden, it'll hopefully occur to her. Otherwise, we're in for a rough <laughs> six know. months. It's true. How was the ice cream? Carlene said it was good. It's in the freezer, so we'll have to. It is good. Working Dearest Carlene, it does. Did not actually have a nap. She had a pleasant snooze. So there you go. Can dropping a puppy cause seizures? No. I don't um, think so. No. I think that seizures, I mean, if I was a vet, or I'm not, but I would take a guess that I would think it has to do with the brain. I would think that it's a... It's an electric short. Yeah. Like, it's not... Uh, no, not all the lights are on upstairs. <laughs> Does everybody know I have seizures? 
That's yeah. an interesting thing. Epilepsy, yeah. Epilepsy, so. for which I take a pill, which is a little interesting, that they can control electric current in my head with me taking a pill. Mm -hmm. I've been on that pill since I was 30 years old. That's yeah. a long time. Yeah. And the only bad part about it is it makes your teeth fall out. Do your teeth look well? I know, but I haven't got very many. No, oh, but you, look, you have enough in the front, which is front, all that front's matters. Front's not too bad. <laughs> but it's, uh, this business of eating steak is getting a little rough yeah. right now. Megan, has Noelle returned to her usual figure after the snails? So, interesting you bring that up. Noelle um, always, when we bred her, bounced right back within four months or whatever. You wouldn't even tell that she had puppies. She was nice and thin, and everything sucked right back up, and everything was great. It, a s emergency C-section, and then we spayed her right then and there. So her hormones went, like, all over the board. So she actually gained weight after. Um, George was here once, and I kind of pulled him in. And I said, "This t she's too fat, isn't she? And he said, yeah. And I said, um, I told him how she normally she has great metabolism, and he thinks that it was because of the spay. So she's on a strict diet. Um, I give When I put my dogs on a diet, I give them literally just one cup of dry food, and I put a lot of water in it, and I give them carrots as snacks at home. And I'm so strict at home with the food because I know when they come here, people are going to feed them milk bones. So I, it kind of balances out, and they end up losing weight. So right now, she, I'd say she needs to lose, if I had to guess, I'd say put a number on seven more pounds. But I'll try and post, post a picture of her. She looks good. I mean, people that would see her go, oh, she looks great. I'm like, yeah, but not the same. I just have a different image. So, Megan, your favorite teaching moment is the actual aha minute. Yep, it is. Cindy heard your voice, and she popped her head up. Hello, Cindy. Does everybody know about that Miracle Worker movie that I push on everybody? Yeah. It's the one with Patty Duke, and it's Good. the story of Helen, Helen Keller, who was basically a wild animal when mm -hmm. she was younger. She could not see or hear. And there is a moment in the movie when all of a sudden she figures out that people are trying to communicate with her. Mm -hmm. And that's the moment we're talking about that you really need to arrive at in training dogs. Yeah. If you don't, it's a rough trip. You'll never get anywhere. Yeah. I know they're talking to me. Is there a link to Carlene's Nutty Professor episode? I'm sure it's probably on the YouTube. I know people record stuff all the time on the YouTube channel. I'm not really sure, but someone will probably post a link up. Documents. It, you know that, that YouTube stuff. It could be. You start on our web and you go to photos. And under photos, you put something like other other information. Mm -hmm. And that is where an awful lot of this stuff is. A lot of the clips. A lot stuff. of the stuff that people... It's an unbelievable collection of... Videos. Yeah. Yeah. There's about everything there. Some videos that we don't want online. <laughs> yeah. But at any rate, that's where it is. I gotta... Did Noelle act hormonal, too, after her spay? Uh, Noelle just, it took her a while to recover. Uh, she lost a lot of blood that day when we were actually in the surgery. I remember because we pulled all the puppies out, and they were in the heating bucket outside, and, like, with the operating rooms here, and they were, like, over in the recovery section. And I was sitting there, you know, just looking at them all, like, isn't this so great? And I thought to myself, oh, maybe I should go check on my dog. Like, she is getting major surgery. So I turn, and I go back in, and I'm standing by her head, and... George is like, Carlene's back by the wall, and he's getting a little frantic, a little like, oh, I don't, I don't know, we got to push this, I got to get out of here, do I close, do I clip all the leaders, do I close, like trying, like almost like a, a sense of panic, and I'm looking at Noelle, and she's gray in the mouth, and I was like, oh, God, like, and then Cindy's like pushing another lead, like putting in a catheter upside down, Cindy's great, she's been there forever, so she was putting another catheter in, he's like, Megan, push the food. So I'm grabbing a bag and I'm squeezing it and squeezing it. And he's like, we're going to, we might, we're going to lose her. We're like, we're going to lose her. And he's like, I got to get out of here. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> and I'm sitting there like squeezing it. And I'm just like, you know, pushing down that feeling like I was going to vomit. And <laughs> I'm just like sitting there like, okay, okay. And then he pulled back out and her blood pressure was way down. And uh, he got everything out and he was like, okay, we, this is like, the, we need to see everything come back. Like this is... He's talking about organ failure and all this stuff, and I was just like, holy crap. And so we start to wheel her out. We transfer her over. He's like, we got to wake her up. we got to warm her up. And we're going out the room, and Cindy turns to me, and she says, Meg, your girl's going to be fine. And George stops, and he looks up, and he looks at me, and he goes, this is your dog. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, 
that was amazing that you just completely <laughs> held your shit together just then. Like, he was like, and I was like, I'm, I'm trying. Like, I was like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, yeah, I'm good. Like, I'm good. And so we went out there, and it took her a while to, to warm up. She was out of it for a while. We sat there on the floor for a long time. But she eventually came to, and then afterwards, she was good. He's but a, He is a pessimist, yeah. too. I mean, he always... But he acted very quick. I mean, in this yes, moment, does. I was happy he was there. Guy. Yeah. So. Um, and, but he always has. He always puts out the worst possible scenario. Oh yeah. And then when he tells you it's not so bad, and then you all oh, oh, thank God, and you think he's a genius, you know. Yeah. Um, which would work out differently if he did it the other way around. Um, but I'm not surprised that he decided she was going to die and Cindy would say, oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, like, she's going to be okay. Like, we're going to get out. It's just like, well, oh, as I puke all over the floor. Well, the yeah. amount of goop that he took out of the her. The blood was, oh, gosh. But it the, was the, just, the uteracy stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was half a bucket full. Yeah, no, it was just the blood. Ever. It wasn't a C-section that we would have videoed, let's just say. It was, it was very, um, yeah. there was a lot. So, like we said, Well, what reason that there was so much was we told him to spare at the same time, so it was, it was not a question of being careful and sewing stuff it was right just, up. He just literally, like he in, the, it up. <laughs> this, in the C-section video that there were online, um, the one that you guys saw, like it was this little sliver, and he'd sit there and he'd pull one out at a time, and with Noel's, it was just like the whole unit, and he was <laughs> like all at once, and all, we were like, wow! Like, all the way, he's just puppy, puppy, puppy after another, because we thought there was one alive one in yeah. there. Turned out there was... I think we had six or two dead or whatever it was, but four, yeah. Four lives, five. right? Four. There were five, and we had to put one down, but yeah. She was she was the one that came out, and we thought she was, we put her off to the side, because we everyone deemed her as dead, Aria. Oh. And then we're sitting there working on it, and we hear this, <laughs> and we were like, what? Like, it totally, like, came back to life. Like, it was weird. Definitely weird. Um, but happy they're all. We have four, four great dogs, so. Uh, if my question is out of line, I apologize. But is a necropsy done on the puppy? Is that of like a like an autopsy? Yeah. Is that what they mean? What no, we uh, we did not do that to Poppy. No, oh. we just uh, we brought him back and we're gonna bury him um, in the graveyard with everybody else. So yeah. there was no point to it. Yeah. We if, knew it, the, yeah. if we had no idea why he died. Yeah, if he was just, but he that was. That would be, if it possibly could be something contagious. Yeah. Then we would have. Yeah. Um, he was just. You know, here we have a whole bunch of, you know, very lively, healthy puppies. He was just unresponsive. Yeah, yeah he, had, he was bad. He, he had something major wrong with his head. He was, he one told. Of the, was, one of the questions George asked about was, what's the shape of his skull? Yeah, he. he Which turned out to be okay, but that's the kind of. Problem that yeah, he was. Look, he really examined this. Like when we were there, yeah, just unresponsive. So it was the right thing to do. Oh, yeah. Never fun. But. Great story. Thanks for sharing. Kudos to you being a great mom in so many ways. Cindy well, looks like she does look like Noel. If you yeah. filled in, uh, take a black marker and fill in that other white spot, <laughs> and then she'll. That's on Cindy. Noel, one of Noel's daughters. Oh yeah, or granddaughters. Anyways, there was one other thing. Would we put that dog down, or the puppy down? Mm -hmm. One of the major CPs died the day before. Oh, really? Well, you don't know, I've always said somebody in heaven must have needed a puppy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget, Mike, maybe? Rick Forrest. Mike? Forrest. Yes. Yeah. So we decided that maybe that's where it is. Yeah. Sad. All right. Well, on that happy note, let's... Let's out of Yeah. <laughs> Here's your table, Carly. Here. Okay. Water too. You have? Oh, no, you don't. No, I don't. That's okay. warmer. I think you have water. I almost grabbed it once already. Does this say, Carly, you, came, you must have come out of your bedroom with it? Good. Okay. It's mail call. Mail call. Mail call. Oh, that was pretty funny with that guy. You know, I could almost take a minute then stop an email. <coughs> I think I have his address here. I wonder if I have it.
I'm looking for this guy. There it is. To write, I have to write an email here. Entertain yourselves for two minutes. Um, Billy, I have to write to Billy. That was pretty funny. I had an event like that once that I can remember anyway. I'd gone on a canoe trip and to get to our starting point, we had to drive all night, and I could not sleep in the car. So when we got there, we went to our starting point, and we got in the canoes, and we went to our first campsite, and we set up our tents, and I went into the tent, and I collapsed. Passed out. And I woke up, and I thought it was the next morning. <laughs> and my friend says, oh no, it's five o'clock at night. Like, Are you kidding? I felt like I'd slept the whole night. There we go. Okay, okay. Source of protein. Absolutely. 
Okay. Okay. I, oh, there's a whole bunch of these. I'll have to do that later. I had to, I had to write to that guy. He said something about something about 4 a.m. on the East Coast or something like that. <laughs> That's what I. Oh my <laughs> word! What have I done? <laughs> it was terrible. Ah, he's from a very large corporation that's been been very generous to us, and I'm, he, I think we're a bunch of drunks, and I don't know what he thought. You kind of forget they're they're on both coasts. You got the Orlando Disney's and the yeah. Disney's. Careful. Okay, like so what am I doing now? Uh, I'm okay. opening the mail. And I have to see the comments. That's not what I do right now, but there they are. Okay. Why do I use goat milk? Well, there's a question. Why do I use goat's milk for the pups? Is it easier to digest? Supposedly. Now, this is an old wives thing for you. Um, supposedly, the easiest milk to digest is donkey's milk. And when I had all those donkeys which I have had at sometimes 30 at a time, minis that I drove. Um, I have had older Italian women come out and ask to milk the donkeys because they've had a sick grandchild. They couldn't keep anything down. And I said, go ahead. So they'd go out in the pasture and line up one of my producing mothers or whatever. And it takes a long time to milk a donkey, but... You know, they'd get a cup or two of milk out and they would be thrilled with it and they'd take it home and feed their grandchild or whatever. I don't know. But um, that's my story on different milk. But yes, goat's milk is easier to digest. It's used constantly with... I don't think you could use it if straight from birth if they hadn't had any of mommy's milk. They're all about to eat mm -hmm. dinner over there. That's what all the noise is. Okay, let's get at it. That, that looks like that might be a good one right on top. <coughs> well, this one's from something about cyber brands. It's from Aetna, and it's $63.63. .63. Wonders where they get the numbers from. But okay, so we have to go there to figure out who gave it to us. Edna Foundation. No, it's, okay. sometimes it's from a person. Yeah. So and it's Edna. a matching donation mostly? Or? Something like that. Matching two thirds, or I don't know. Well, that's a bill. That's a bill for my new toy. I bought an electric drill for my own. I so. saw that. For her cable. Yeah. Oh my, I know what this is. Yeah. <coughs> Ipswich. This is from a uh, program in Ipswich for um, children that the powers that be, whoever they are, the town, etc., are trying to pattern into a working situation. Um, Dear Carly, dear Charlie and Steve, oh my, thank you for coming to the school and bringing Charlie. I hope you enjoyed the company as much as we enjoyed you guys. Thank you for the puzzle, puzzle, bracelet, and calculator. Hope you can come back soon from Serena. So that whole thing was technically for Charlie and Steve, so we'll have to put that in a special pile for him. So there are a couple more. Nice strong Charlie. These are these are here's a regular mail, and then we'll do the rest of those. Okay, this is Marilyn Johnson, Brockton, Mass. How are you doing over there? Do you need help? No. Good. I don't want to give you any. <laughs> <laughs> You're in your room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Please accept my modest donation service. It's not modest, it's a donation, for heaven's sake. 
in memory of Mary Roth Giles, sister of Debbie and sister-in-law to Steve. Oh, okay. And you're a wonderful, wonderful volunteer. That's true. Oh, I know who this is. Marilyn. I know her. Okay. Steve's sister-in-law died. Rather unexpectedly, I believe. And uh, that's that, and that's in memory of her. Yeah, I'm going to put that in there because I probably have to get a thank you note from Linda. Here, you can have that one. And here we have something from Kingston Man. Okay, it's a great big long letter. Oh my. Service Dog Project. Okay, she, this is person. I just spoke with Carlene on the phone who advised me to write again your organization. I applied for a service dog last year, but was turned down, et cetera. And I asked Carlene if I could be reconsidered. And basically I told her yes, she could be. And that she should explain more what her problem was, et cetera, and we could probably reconsider it. So that's what that's all about. So that's an applicant that needs to be reconsidered. So we'll get back to these kids <coughs> writing the thank you note to Steve for having taken Charlie down to the... Charlie's our only working working dog that is our, is our demo dog. We don't have a demo dog at the moment. Do you want to have that one? Um, well, we have a patient come here that needs to try try walking with a dog. Um, we used to have Fido, but Megan's dog, we lost him. Dear Steve, thank you for letting us pat your dog, and thank you for teaching us about your dog. And thanks for the puzzle and calendar and showing us your dog, Liam. Okay, what are we doing with it? We're trying to get to you there. Having torn that one the wrong direction, I made it. No oh, way. you did that? I did that all by myself. I often do that. Here's another one. Thank you for coming to Yacht. The Yacht Program. And teaching us interesting fun facts about the Great Dane. That the other kids and other adults also enjoyed seeing you and Charlie. Thank you again. Hope to visit again. Hope you visit us again soon. Getting our thank you notes written. Oh heavens! You think they're starving? They're not starving. Thank you for the tour of the farm. I found some of the names you give your dogs quite interesting. My favorite name I heard was Chaos. I would like to come back again soon sometime. Sincerely, Alvin. Okay. And then we have Steve. Thank you for coming to Oak Hill with a Great Dane. It was a lot of fun learning about Great Danes and how they help people walk. Charlie is super cute and such a big boy. I enjoyed his company today. Thank you much for the Great Dane calendar and puzzle and cool twist spine. I don't know. For letting us take your group picture with us and Charlie your time out of work. Thank you again. That's from Matthew. That's from Matthew. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Okay. This is from Carol Field, Osterville, Mass. Has some weight to it here. Oh my heavens. Oh my heavens. Oh, we have some poop pickers. Oh. 
Okay. Who's this from? Carol. Carol Field. If at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. <laughs> That's cute. True words. <laughs> The Irish blessing. <clears throat> yes, I'm Irish. May the, <laughs> may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. <clears throat> may the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. Until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. That's the Irish blessing. I didn't know that one. Wow, the new puppies are just so precious and will be incredible service dogs. I send extra hugs to Pappy. Um, I know he is getting the best care from all, including Guppy. So sweet to see, comforting to him. Just best wishes for happy, healthy, and strong people 17. <coughs> you, your staff, and volunteers are the best people in the whole world. You're right, <laughs> Carol Field. And she would like some chicken breakfast. Oh, very nice. You can have some chicken bricks. We'll put the chicken bricks apartment. Okay, get that one. And that goes in there. Are these all written on? Oh, my word. I won't write these, all of these, but that one's going to be a very good one to start with. I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not sure. Yeah. A clear conscience is usually the sign of a bad memory. <laughs> a clear conscience is usually the sign of a bad memory. I like that one. The sole purpose of a child's middle name is so he can tell when he's really in trouble. I had a problem with that, trying to name Janine. And I couldn't figure out what... I was pretty good with the Janine part, you know. Mm -hmm. But I realized when she got older and wanted to put her initials on things, it was going to be very awkward if she only had two. So I gave her the name of M. Janine M. M. Yep. Got rid of that problem. Tone has a lot to do with it too. Janine. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where the, there is a path and leave a trail. The traveler sees. The traveler sees what he sees. The tourist sees what he has come to see. Huh. These are pretty good. Mm -hmm. The traveler sees what he sees. The tourist sees what he has come to see. Silence is the best response to a fool. I intend to live forever. So far, so good. There's another one. <laughs> I like those. That's a good one. It's always enjoyable to to have to, to read those when you're picking poo. I like that one. <laughs> put that, that's the winner of the day. What did I do? I don't think that's anything. Annual giveaway. Consumer report. What are they giving me away for? Probably. Oh, it's private, private correspondence for early responders only. $2,500. This official entry form whatever, if returned by the dated deadline. This is not a check in tiny, tiny print at the bottom, no cash value. Right, how could I figure that out? Okay, well that's goodbye. We get that, moving on. Okay, I'll put this over here. Are you going to put that up here? And I'm going to, what am I going to do with it? It sounds good. Meg. Meg McCain. 
don't know exactly where she's from, but that's what her name is. happy we had it someday. You don't want to you don't want to store fire starters where the sparks can get out and get at it. That's a bad thing. Makes for very exciting living. Yeah. And this is from Peg again. Look that wonderful. This is also from Peg. And there's Bud. Hello. Hello Bud. We just had a discussion about fire. Fire? And how these are wonderful things to start fires with, but you don't want to start them over there. You don't want to store them where the sparks come oh, out. Yeah, that's right. That's not a good thing. Yeah. We have some more of those glass jars that can be made into ice cream makers. Yeah. Did you see my ice cream maker? I saw it. Did, yeah. did you see it? I saw it. Uh, briefly. I yeah. saw you here sitting rocking. That's true. That's a, these would also be good at it. I was thinking that looks kind of like what you used. Yeah, it is. Well, you know, it had a little bit wider top, but these would work. Mm -hmm. You're leaving. Yeah, I am. You got them all fed. They're all quiet. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Very good. And a piece of paper. Some chewy. Says it's from Peg, by golly. <coughs> Not to believe it. Oh. But you didn't hear this one. <clears throat> I intend to live forever. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So far, so good. So far, so good. Right direction. Oof, there we go. <laughs> And this is from somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Not otherwise specified. I redesigned. I don't know. Karen Kushner. Well, that's great. We'll certainly use this right for the moment until we get ours. Mm -hmm. um, I redesigned this harness. I have tried. I tried very hard to get Planet Dog to redesign the harness for me, so that I didn't have to buy so many. You can take that away, and I'll show everybody the harness. Um, because these are the harnesses we use so much of the time. Um, but it is a little bit awkward, unless they've redesigned it themselves now. Um, it's the harness that everybody uses. But the problem is, yeah, that they did not redesign it. Um, 
I asked them to. I really did. The problem with this harness is that the way it's all sewn together, you have to pick up the dog's foot and put it through here, which is an extremely hard task for somebody to do, especially until the dog kind of learns to help you. Um, so I asked them if they couldn't please to put a snap on both sides, in which case it, it's real simple. And they couldn't do that. So I sent it to China. And we... <laughs> I hate to tell you, we have 400 of them coming. Is that the minimum? It is, well, yeah, yeah. Three, 400. I know you did 400 yeah. uh, vests too, right? Yeah. yeah. And there are other problems about this harness, like the edge, the edge is against the dog. When you, they've sewn something. You know, see, would you want to look at this so you can tell everybody about it? Mm -hmm. See, they've got the end sewn oh, here. Yeah. And it is a little bit rough, and it's just enough Whereas if you're going to wear it 24 hours a day or, or an awful lot of hours a day, it, 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 it hurts. See, they're all sewn that way. Mm -hmm. So the ones coming from us, they're sewn with the, with the end up on top so it doesn't rub the dog. But this is, it, this is the harness that everybody likes and it does work well. Yeah, it's right nice, and it's it. nice and soft until yeah. you get to the folded over fabric. Until so you get to the folded over part. Right. Where, you know, especially if they've sewn it with a plastic thread. It's just one thread can really drive you crazy. Yeah. But at any rate, thank you. I'm sure we'll use it in the meantime until we have seven million of our own. Okay. One more. One more. From Betsy. Betsy. Milton. Active man. Linda? Yeah? Remind me to uh, talk to Betsy about the shots at the vet's office. Okay? I think she went today. Huh? I think she went today. I know. It's probably going to get all screwed up again, but what the hell? We'll figure it out eventually. I should talk to her. Okay, she's going to come. She has money from the puzzle. Oh, good. Yeah, it's getting very confusing because. When I give somebody a female dog, I take care of all the vet and expenses related to Three. reproduction. Yes. Yeah. But not to clean their teeth. That's her problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that stuff. Yeah, I, I, we've been going back and forth for days when I sent her an email and yeah. said she's responsible for everything except bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. We need, to, we need to figure it out a little bit because George called all confused. We're confusing their computer. <laughs> That's what the real problem is. Okay. Here we have a goodie box. Let's see what's in the goodie box. It's got to be open first. The letter open. I put my open door. Okay. and I shared one with my doctor's office. I hope the trial samples, shampoos, etc., come in handy. I also threw in some of the memo tablets I get loads of. Figure you can use them up at Service Dog Project somewhere. And this is for the fun fun. So we put that in the fun fun. And that's from Betty. Betsy. Betsy, no? You can, you can have that part. And this one is an envelope that will go in there. And these are memo pads. We'll give those to Linda especially. Keep her very happy. And what do we got in here? Oh, goody. We have some stuff from the local motel. Hotels, stuff like that. I wonder if they are. Or is, she the one with, or is she the one that works for the dentist? Got a lot of toothbrushes. Toothing brushes, that's good. Toothing brushes, things like that. Oh my heavens. Razor blades. Yeah. Dental floss. Yeah. Breathe right strips. Boy, these are really more breathe right strips. Some of the dogs could use those. 
criticizes me for not having a leash for my dog, I pull out a piece of dental floss. <laughs> blows their mind. I've done it before. But that's what these tiny little, you know, every once in a while you need a little tiny piece of string or something. Mm -hmm. and this is, that's a good one because it's very small. These, these others, these others, I mean, they're all very nice. Those are probably worth two, but they're not as compact. Huh? They're not as compact. Not that that is going in my wallet. I'll tell you that right now. This one is. I can't even open it. Oh yes, there it is. Plastic strip on it. Yeah, there it is. Those are very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I did that one with Bentley. It was a kid. It wasn't Bentley. Actually, it was. It was Thumper, and it was with the woman who eventually did our accreditation. I had to go meeting, I had to go ahead and meeting with her <coughs> way back when she first met me. And I had a perfectly behaved big Great Dane, black Great Dane. And I didn't have a leash on him. And somebody said, you didn't have to have a leash on your dog. So I pulled out my little piece of dental floss and I put the leash on the dog and everybody was happy. So you need to come to it. At any rate, we have some of these too. Control. Very nice. Fluffies? Fluffy ducks. Very good, thank you. Oh, these fluffies. Well, there's another one of the small ones. Isn't it? Ah. Like you want to bag him. He's got a dog that'd be good on these, too. <laughs> <laughs> when you have a well trained dog, you have a well trained dog. I can't hold him with a piece of dental floss. See, this is my wallet. This is, goes with me everywhere. But I forget it. But the a tiny piece of dental floss in there will be very handy. I have a sometimes I have a piece of dental floss in my pill case. No, I don't. I don't. But in my pill case, I also have wrapped up in tape. You know what that is? Hearing aid batteries. Oh, okay. Wrapped in tape. Right here. Starting to go deaf. Now, where'd you get the little case? I don't know where I got it. Can I see the top? No, this one. Oh, this. Oh, that. I've had that a hundred years. Mm -hmm. I do not know where I got it, but it's lovely. Yeah. I lost this one. See, I'm, I'm on Dilantin, and I have to be on Dilantin. I have to carry Dilantin with me, in case I forget it or whatever. Um, and I was working on that horse show over there in Hamilton, out in the woods, at the Winter Passate, and I lost that. I used to carry it in my bra, and I lost it. And this is, I don't know how many acres they are. They're a, a mile and a quarter on two different sides. I don't know how they are in the woods. But at any rate, I lost that pill case. I thought I'd never see it again. But Ann found it. Huh. That's how manicured that place is. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. any rate, it's not really... It's not really manicured, it's just well maintained. Mm -hmm. Okay, what am I doing now? I opened that. Uh, huh? Questions? Questions. Oh, I just I did want to show everybody my my toy I bought for myself. And I've already used it once. How about that? Three and a half pounds it is, and I even weighed it. That's true, it is. <laughs> but I fully charged. <laughs> it is now, yep. I like the um, light. The light is very helpful. Yeah. Yes, um, I, I realize it's stupid not to have a good, I've got a tiny little drill in my, I'm cleaning up that area there, but um, I've already made two repairs with it that I've been waiting for Ryan to do for a long time. Hmm. I did it myself. 
<coughs> I don't need to have help. I just need a bigger power. So there we are. I'm out of here. Need more power tools. You know, it, it, all those jobs used to be men's jobs before there were power tools. Now that there are power tools, it means if you can, if you can run an, an electric sewing machine, you can run anything. Mm -hmm. It's probably easier to run the tractor than it is to run an electric sewing machine. But that that harness has been wonderful. It don't I? I was looking at George's harness the other day, and he could stand a new one. So I think I'll give him that. I'll give him that one until it's really kind of grubby looking. Because he by now he picks up his foot and puts it in. Okay, so it said mare milk is good too. It could be. It could be, but the donkey milk, they they specifically came out here for the donkeys. I've never heard that. Maybe you don't know enough Italian people. Apparently not. <laughs> not old Italian people old anymore. Old Italian people. Yeah. It happened, it happened more than once. Hmm. And they came all the way out of Boston. Wow. Okay, so Lila May said, we love the noise <laughs> during the feeding. Those little ones sound like they have never been fed before. Just love the sounds. A picture of Poppy. Noisy and hungry. Very quiet now. Loving the little tiny yelps in the background. Beautifully <laughs> quiet right now. Yeah. So we're probably good for another couple hours. Yeah. If new people were just tuning in and heard the puppies, they would wonder why everyone speaks so highly of SDP. We know they're eating, but others would not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have turned the camera, but the mail call is supposed right. to be here. And Haley had to get it done because she had to leave. Let's see. Do, do, do. Do Apparently, during a Monday shooting of a police officer in Orlando, they have arrested three people. One being a killer's niece. goes to buy a gun and they say are you a, are you a, an idiot or criminal or whatever and there's only one answer to that you're going to get to that right it's like if i said to you do you tell the truth there's only one answer to that mm -hmm. if you're a liar you're going to say yes yeah and if you're a truth teller you're yes. going to say yes yes all the and there's more logic problems written where you have to know that one thing mm -hmm. There aren't too many other times when there's only one answer, but there are other places where logically there is only one answer. I saw the movie Hidden Figures. Hidden Figures, you're a mathematician, so they're posting that for you. Saw the movie Hidden Figures today, absolutely wonderful. I've been lucky to live in an age where I could follow the space program from the very beginning. <clears throat> and have been a space cadet my whole life. I remember those initial man flights, but to see this movie and to understand the engineers and mathematicians who made it happen and their circumstances, amazing. Huh. This is true. I figure it out all on a chalkboard. Then to learn that these amazing women who made it happen, that about these amazing women that made it happen, and they were black and so prejudiced against, who knew, not one, not only prejudiced against as women, but as black women who could not even go to a white bathroom or drink from a white coffee pot. Wow. Huh. Yeah, I'd like to see that. It looks like it's going to be a very good movie. I have not seen a movie. I've probably mm -hmm. seen one movie in the past year or two. Thirty, forty years, yep. and then Denmark and dragged me to a movie once. I sat through it. 
Yep. I didn't have a choice. You made me go. <laughs> Do you remember what it was? It was that French bit. That French about the reunion. The uh, reunion. I don't know. It made an impression, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you the seats we sat in in the movie, where we were. How long ago? Wait a minute. O two six nine four, whatever. The, the, in the one, throughout this one section of the movie, the guy kept repeating his prison number. It was something like O two six nine four. Five. It was a five digit number. Somebody will know. Somebody will know. Come on, guys. Yeah. They're all piled up. Was there a reason that Dr. George decided it was best to put Poppy to sleep rather than try him on the meds to see if they would work? He was a tough shape, Poppy. He was, he was all, just getting worse. He was getting worse. Yeah. He had four or five seizures a day. And by the time we took him down there for George to look him over again, he, was, he already had his medicine in him. Yeah. He'd been having it for a couple days. And he was curled into a ball and couldn't couldn't relax. Mm -hmm. So it just it was the right thing to do. Yeah. George 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 wouldn't do it if it wasn't right. No. It, it was tough to hear about, but it, you know, it happens. Yeah. It happens. It happens. <laughs> Carlene, the kitties love that kind of paper. I'm sure they do. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't have kitties. Yeah. We give them the puppies. Paper bags mm -hmm. and Where is Lainey's fourth puppy? Oh, in the Found him in the red basket while it looked like he was missing. Uh -huh. They fill that little red bed right up already. They, they, Jeez. They, they are so big. Yeah, they're little porkers. Store. <laughs> Store paper too near the fireplace, and the next thing you know, it's midnight, and you're saving puppies in your jammies. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> or whatever you're wearing. <clears throat> I have complete confidence in the fact that you and Steve and Megan can bring Sizzle along to become a perfect demo dog, as long as you don't ask her to demo <laughs> getting into your car or carrying something in your mouth in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's, she's pretty good. She's, you get her out away from here, and she's very understanding, and she pays exact attention to me. Mm -hmm. um, I had her in Staples the other day, and she was perfect. Um, Where is she? Out back? Out back. Okay. I believe the lowest quantity is 300 web harnesses for ordering in 400 service dog patches. Whatever. It could be. That's from your contact in California. And Tina. No, yeah. Tina knows because yeah. Tina's in charge of them. Right. That's what I was going to say. She's the one who's been helping you. She's been helping us out with that project. <laughs> okay, the ever popular question. Has it been decided which female will be next, be the next bread? No. Nope. Time will tell. How was your day? Is there heat in the new building? Is there heat in the new building? It's a two-parter. No, it's not. My day was fine. My day was fine except for <laughs> except for taking that nap and waking up at 5. <laughs> at 5 p.m. And thinking it was 5 <laughs> in the morning and almost giving the guy hell for calling so early. <laughs> early in the, he must think I drink. <laughs> Poppy Kibera Mob Company. Chicken Brick update. Currently 163 bricks from a total of 2,100 have been sold. 8%. Got to get moving. This will be a short month, too, because we... Yeah, it was a late... We were the 8th of the month. Yeah. That's unusual. Can you please explain what a mule driver is? There is a tool called a mule driver. It's okay. But I don't think that's what... 
I, I don't, I, they're, they're, they're talking about driving a mule yeah, to a mule, cart. Yeah, mule, yeah. yeah. Mules are tremendously reliable in certain circumstances. But boy, are they hard-headed. Uh-huh. Powerful. Powerful. Powerful mm -hmm. and hardy. There is a story about that. <coughs> the, the story, and, and this is back 30 years, <coughs> that there used to be a 747 that left Kentucky, I don't know, we weekly, monthly, something, with baby mules on it that went to Afghanistan. Huh. Because in those hills and mountains, the mule was super. The, uh, and you can't breed mules. Yeah. To breed mules, you need to have great big horses. Mm -hmm. And they breed them to a great big donkey. Hey, Junior, what's your problem? Kathy. Put your head back she's, in there. She's peeking into the other room. What's the matter? Are you lonely? You're okay. Yeah, she's good. She bit somebody today. Did she? Not so good. What? Is there a puppy out? I don't know. What is she worried about? She's looking at something over there. Yeah, don't count them again. No, her. <laughs> You're all right, Gussie. That's a good girl. Okay. Don't come out of there. You're not going to fit either. Maybe she has to go out. That's that could be it. You want to go outside? I just brought her. She has diarrhea. Ooh. Maybe she wants to go outside. Currently, Gussie is sticking her head through the uh, the riot window, wagging her tail, looking oh. into the other room. Don't step on the yep, she's coming down. Yep. Okay, I'll block it here. So, moving on, there was a post today about Audrey who came into heat this morning. Is she to be considered for breeding? Um, not, not, I'm hoping somebody else comes in heat quick. Yeah. That's not my first choice. That's not my first choice. Possibly Scarlett and Nisha in, in January, as you said. Mm. Yes, she just had, yes, that's true. Yep. Now, they'd be my first choice. Yep. They both have good ones. And and I'm sure Audrey would have good ones. And if everybody get off my neck on the white deal, because breed Audrey to a black dog, and you'd probably get all black puppies. Uh -huh. just, it just works that way. You have some idea of what you're doing here. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> I'm, work, I'm trying to work with Mother Nature. It's tough. She's ahead. How is Gussie? When may she go home? Pretty soon. This is only what the second or second. Those puppies ate gruel mm -hmm. and came over and fell asleep. Mm -hmm. So we must be doing something right. Yep. So I, probably within a week. Quite a pile there. Tina is handling the harnesses. Yeah. Here's Carlene. She has all the 411 in details. Yeah. <laughs> Information. Oh. The, the original okay. question was, when you get the new harnesses, can you tell us how much they are? I would like to buy some for you to give to recipients. Thanks. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yes. Nancy's mom. Or Nancy mom, CP. Where are Bentley and Sizzle? They are in the condo, along with Chaos. Will the gifts get gruel since they are thriving on mom's milk? What are those ones? Yep, eventually. God, they are just, they're thriving too much on mom's milk. Yeah. <coughs> well, there are only four, so they can... There are, but the other thing that I've had to stop is that people picking up the dogs and putting them on the nipple. Oh. 
I mean, these, these guys don't walk enough in there. Yeah. You can't get up with those legs. <laughs> so they're yeah. all on a diet. They, you put them in the middle and make them go find mommy. I mean, it's... <laughs> hey, lady is helping because she gets up on the food. They're starting to toddle. Yeah. Well, to I know, but legs. they're... They're so heavy. Yeah. They're so heavy. They get the front end up and the back end just kind of drag it around like they're <laughs> paralyzed. I'm thinking, Jesus. But they are so heavy. When Pam first put that red bed down, I saw one puppy crawl up onto the side and just like say, okay, I'm here, and just <laughs> kind of fell asleep hanging off the edge of it. <laughs> oh. Who are the overnight people? I don't know. They come and they go. Um, Melissa's usually on Wednesday. Not sure who else. Is Gussie doing okay today? Well, she had diarrhea. But other than that. Yeah. Other than charging at somebody, and Megan had to speak very seriously to her. Okay. Oh, I, <clears throat> an organizer for my drawer. Oh. Oh. I, I just don't think it's possible. That drawer, that top left drawer, open yeah. it up. I just, yeah, there's just no way you can organize that stuff. Yeah, it's pretty shallow too. So try, it's it's a it's a long drawer. Wow. wow. You know. Wow. <laughs> it's, but it's it's got amazing things in there, and I can find stuff eventually. Mm -hmm. You know. You know what's there. Comment if the Italians came for donkey milk, must have been some good. <laughs> Quote A. Good ass stuff. Yeah, oh, ass stuff. Okay. <laughs> Tee hee joke. <laughs> huh. There's someone up in Barrington. I've seen the, their ad on a placeman at one of the restaurants up there in New Barrington, New Hampshire. Uh, it's a guy who hauls mules. And his, uh, oh, yes. he says, we haul ass. In yeah. <laughs> quotation. Do you think him being born so much later than the other puppies might have been a reason? Was that the last one, boy? That, that was, uh... Was that Poppy? Poppy? I'm not 100% certain. He was later in the whole deal, I know that. Yeah. Oh, he Tina said he wasn't the last one, that was Bolt. Oh, okay. Is there one shipping method better than another to get a parcel to SDP from Canada? I have no idea. Maybe it's around. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay, now, uh, does Thank anybody you. know that number? I don't know, that's going to haunt me. 02694. 02694. That's pretty close to it, I'll bet you. And it's I like have a zip code. Yeah. Maybe it's... Carlene, you are awesome, and so is SDP. My bucket list includes a visit to meet you. Poppy is in a good place. My Cocker Spaniel had seizures, and it was so scary dealing with them and not knowing when they would hit him. The decision to send him to the Rainbow Bridge was the right one. Thank you for all you do. <coughs> we got another. It is. Yep. Another. Now, I really, I really would like to know what that song, is it song, or is did they play it in the background, or I? I don't remember anyone reciting the number. Oh, they, they say it over and over and yeah. over again. Oh, I've only seen it once, so I don't know. I'll have to and watch it again. Yeah, we're... Okay, here we go. Oops, there it is. Two four six zero one is the prisoner number of Jean Valjean yes. in Hugo's book. Two four, six, two four six zero one. Yep. Yep. I had the two four, didn't I? Did I <laughs> Someone said it was the movie Rain Man. <laughs> Do you know Rain Man? I know Rain Man. Okay. That was that's a long time ago yep. too. Ten minutes to Wapner. Well you, once you once you've been in on making the movies it, some of the fascination is gone. I had a question. Did you know other animal handlers? There wasn't any. Me. It was just you. Me. Yeah. Well, I, there were some down in New York I knew. Yeah. So I was watching um, the movie A Christmas Story, 
and they have a scene where the hound dogs run through the house and grab the turkey out of the kitchen. And so I was thinking that probably would have been right up your I, alley. Well, I, I did a, I did a dog. Yeah, I did one. I did one. I used the dog that got the turkey was the, uh, the corgi. Uh huh. I did a movie of that. I did a movie <laughs> of that. It took the leg of the turkey and ran. <laughs> And boy, it was tough because it was a well-behaved corgi. If she knew damn well she wasn't supposed to be on the table. Yep. But to get her up on the table, they go, no, no, you got to do it this time. They had a fake turkey first, and you had to get a real. Yeah, Is that they the wanted story? to film the. They had. They wanted to film the real thing. And so we practiced with the fake thing because I once once you get that real leg, uh -huh. we're going to have trouble. Oh, 2694. No. 24601. 24601. According to this post. 24601. Yeah, it is 24601. That's right. Thinking about the song, The Erie Canal. I had a mule. Her name was Sal, 16 miles on the Erie Canal. She was a good old worker and a good old pal. 16, 16 miles on the Erie Canal. Yep. The guy walking on the towpath with a whip sending Sal along the towpath pulling the barge was the mule driver. Okay, that works. There is, there is a tool with the mule driver. I don't know what it is. No. A lot of questions tonight. Okay. Does Gussie notice that he is gone? No, I don't think so. Doesn't seem to. Dearest Caroline's drawer so reminds me of the file drawer scene in Bruce Almighty. Bruce Almighty. I've seen it, but, but don't I don't forget that's remember. the drawer where our ghost lives. That's right. We can't miss that, huh? 24601, we have confirmation. 24601, yeah. Another one. 24601. 24601. It's just like the movie. I keep repeating it. 24601. Yep. I'd say there's no question that it was 2461. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Haha, <laughs> 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 that scene in the Christmas story is pretty funny where the hounds run through the house. Yes, it is. The number was Jean Valjean's. He sang it to himself, to ID himself, to Javert, however it's pronounced. Does your wife work at the farm? Uh, Bobby, oh, back up. Okay, sorry, sorry. Addressing it to me. She volunteers too, yes. Right, so she was here last night. She was here last night. She did that late, late Does shift. Does she like that? Yeah. She likes it. She she now. feels she's making a contribution. She certainly is. She's it, a worker. It's a, it's a tough thing for her to get here during the week with her work schedule. I thought she was coming from work. She year. is. Yeah. But where you know she's sleeping early in the day to get up to go to work and then she she comes home and she doesn't go right to sleep. She kind of has to you know unwind unwind for a bit. Yeah. So coming here is a good thing. Can't do it all the time because she, she takes care of her parents a couple days a week too, so it's a lot going on. Guess he is a toy. Some of the puppies are up. What's for dinner? I don't know. It's nope. in the oven. Somebody told me there was food in the oven. Nobody's asked, so I will. <coughs> What's for dinner? Chicken. Chicken. And something wrapped very tightly. Uh, something wrapped very tightly. Squash. That's me. Squash. And onions. And onions. Squash, onions. And gravy. So, and gravy. Squash, onion, and gravy. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Right, gotcha. Oh, sizzle. Sizzle is good. You sons of a bitch. Poppy says, you sons of a bitch, Poppy says. Huh. I think that's what he says. He's the most handsome boy. Okay. 
for later viewing, this is a song. Okay. Is Claudia the chicken better in Back in the Coop? Claudia is still... I doubt she's ever going to go back in the coop. Yeah, I don't know if she could ever go back there. She's going to go alone in the coop tomorrow so she can get used to the weather, according to Grace. Uh -huh. And then the next day, Grace will bring in another chicken so she can Oh, introduce it. Yeah, very good. So she's Is her head all healed? She has a scab on her head, yeah. but it's they'll healed. Pick, they'll pick it off. Yeah. She has recovered... Very well, from because I was here when she found her, and I thought that chicken was a goner. So, yeah, Grace is going to reintroduce her gradually and hope for the I, best. I think the way to do it would be to bring one at a time out to join her. Yeah, that would work, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like when you take a puppy away for a while and then bring yeah. it back, it's kind of can be kind of dicey. Okay, are we done? I think we're done. We're done. We're gonna listen Before to uh, done. we're gonna listen to Who Am I yes. from Les Mis, and then we're gonna have dinner. <laughs> so we'll say good night. Good night, everybody. And thank good you. Night. Good night.